Let's see our next example. We have equation with absolute value. So we have to go to our definition of absolute value. We have to split our absolute value to two cases. First, when expression between absolute value bars is positive or zero. So let me put first case, we have absolute value of 5 times x. It means we have to solve equation 5x is greater than or equal 0. So I will divide both sides by 5. 5 and 5 will cancel and we have x is greater than or equals 0. We have the domain for the first case. So we can go to our equation. We have absolute value of 5x equals x minus 2. In first case, when we get rid of absolute value bars, we just copy whatever is between these bars. So we have 5x is equals x minus 2. First, I will move x to the left side. So we have 5x minus x is equal negative 2. 5x minus x is 4x is equal negative 2. I will divide both sides by 4. 4 and 4 will reduce and we have x equals Negative 2 divided by 4 is negative 1 half. Now we have to check if this solution is included in our domain. Negative 1 half is not greater than 0. So it means this solution is not correct. We can just close this. Now we can go to the second case. First, we have to find the domain, whatever is between absolute value bars, must be less than zero. So we have 5x is less than zero. So we divide both sides by 5. So we have x is less than zero. We have the domain. So we have to just copy our equation. We have 5x absolute value of 5x is equal x minus 2. Now, in this case, when we get rid of absolute value bars, we have to put negative sign. So we have negative 5x is equal x minus 2. Next, I will move negative 5x to the right side and negative 2 to the left. So we have 2 is equal x plus 5x. So we have 2 is equal 6x. Now I will divide both sides by 6. 6 and 6 will cancel and we have 2 with 6, we can reduce, will be 3. So we have 1 third is equal x. I will change the sides so we have x is equal one third. Now we have to check if this solution is included in our domain. x should be less than zero but this number is positive. It means it's not correct. We have to cross this. So we can say this equation has no solution.